What's up, guys? It's me, YK, and we are back again with another video. And again, it is a lovely, glorious video because we get to look at some high, high, high level tech. And that doesn't come from myself, actually. So not too long ago, there was this tournament in Korea. They ran this series called the ATL series. And one player that actually competed in that tournament and did very, very, very well, in fact, is Edge, the Korean Waring, who is actually number one in the leaderboards right now, I believe, and currently gatekeeping me from that number one spot. And he actually had a very, very, very good run in this tournament. And so we just want to take a look at that uh take a look at his matches see what he's doing see if we can implement it in our own gameplay because again um this is one of the best ways in my opinion to get better at this game see someone who is doing something better than yourself just take it just take it for yourself and obviously again it is really interesting to see how they're handling uh the character of Warring in korea right now traditionally they said he's quite a weak character some people agree some people don't i know jdcr does the videos on Warring saying he's a weak character but that's all a joke because jdcr thinks Warring is very strong and i've spoken to some korean players as well and the, the opinions do differ so it'll be interesting to see how these uh players deal with Warring. so that's about it for the intro we're going to get into it right now uh before we begin though make sure you guys uh, hit the subscribe and like button because about 60 percent of the people watching my videos are not subscribed and that's not okay. So he joined it in progress. Edge All right. Winning too. This is a tough choice. So Ni nee Fang Wei. Ah! Oh, my bad. So Ni nee went for Fang against Warang, which is good pick. Just All right, I'm nice. I'm gonna switch the audios. <laughs> Yo, Edge is winning. Whoa, whoa, go! That's a risky. Oh, that was a risky yeah. combo, All right, man. Edge. All right. That was a risky combo, man. Let me. Your stream channel is called ATL2. Yeah, he's put a two after the main one. Nice with punish. I'm going to bounce back and forth between these probably. But Edge, okay. uh, with the lead here, Horong seems to be a major problem. He's not ripped. Stop. Don't say that. What is his customization for a knee, by the way? Ooh. Is he wearing an eye patch just knee, to. Knee could have a lot Horong. more there. Wow, okay. Damn, don't even matter. 3 0. So he did Tom 1, Quarum. 2, 3. Knee hard duck. I mean, Quarum. okay, so his look at if you look at this situation here, I don't blame him for hard ducking, but. Is he wearing an eye patch? To no, uh, maybe I do. So knee is a poke from death. He's a down 3 4, guess for game, right? But all of the mids here is pretty much game over. Is pretty much game over. So he probably hard ducked expecting down 3 4. And Edge did heat smash. Because why why not do heat smash in this situation, right? Like you do heat smash. If you block it, you're going to take chip damage. And then it's another mix up. Guess for game. Wow. Damn. Don't even matter. 3 0. Okay. Versus Edge. I guess we stay here in case Nee loses. And then we'll switch to the old side JDCR match. Wherever that is. They haven't oh. started it yet. This, so this is something I used to do in Tekken to the, 7 with, the with Huarang. I probably need to start doing it more. Huarang's Flamingo Step. If Huarang did sidestep right, I guess we stay Flamingo Step. Here. So sidestep right, okay, forward three, loses. like there, it would evade like Feng's down four, down back three, down forward three, down forward two, two. Uh, down, uh, down, I think down for one caught him, but like back forward obviously catch him as well. But like it evaded so much of Feng's offense. Um, but obviously it's a risk though. Like if Feng does nothing, then you're just sitting there in Flamingo and he's just going to back one and you're going to die. Wherever that um, is, they haven't started it yet. Damn, heat engage your half-life. Oh, I love that. Wall. Wait, Nii, wait. Well, okay, what did Nii do there? Okay. So I like forward, forward, three after heat engage, y'all. Especially back to the wall because this is a frame trap. And you, sh you would normally, you you'd get a launcher here, right? Because you can do flappy kicks or you can do two, three and get the wall splat. Um, but... Nee did something because Edge didn't think he would get the counter hit. And Nee well, did something after getting counter hit there. I don't flat. know. Oh, he dropped it. Off axis. Oh, God. Interesting. He got it back. Interesting. Wow, stuffed out. Always trying to sidewalk. Always trying to jump for three nothing. plus four. Look ah, see? Step. See, I just Flamingo mentioned it. Sidestep. Guess for your life. It's a mid. And he tried to die. He probably thought he'd do oh jabs after right now. forward, down forward three because it's um, edge, only plus one. Nice punish. And he's playing on PlayStation as well. I'll switch to the JD Ulsan match after this one. Oh, here we go. This is Feng Gaming. Back, Look at the steps. Man, Ooh, edge back is hella one. good. Oh! oh never mind. They're having lobby issues with JDCR Ulsan. It didn't work. I guess they might have to coin flip to see who wins. 
On three. Nice power crush. Uh, power crush is just how they win. Good nice. jabs. That should be the round, right? You got I don't know. Your rage and heat. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. You didn't heat dash. Down four. Jesus knee. Yeah, I mean, but if he if he heat dash there, he wouldn't have got the he combo. Because right. when you get the fifty percent scaling on it. Me. Keeping the peace. Running three. I like what Edge does after he. I need to start doing this after he engages. Well, you know, is go for a plus option instead of going for a skyrocket. Because Skyrocket is just a launch attempt to be block it. All right, go from there. But running three, forward, forward three, taking the plus good. frames and then asserting from there, especially wide and heat. I, I need to start doing this more. I always kind of forget, and I feel like a lot of people don't really consider is that it's not chip damage, it's real damage. It's challenging down back three a lot. No heat. Nice block. Down back three. Wow! Like, oh, like, oh, it's recoverable health. He it's way more like actual chip damage than recoverable health. Nice Good. punish. Had the right block. Full launch punish. Good. Wow, 7 2 3. So garbage. And he has been complaining a lot online lately. I don't remember the last time I've seen him positive. I think he just wants the game to be different. He, he disagrees with the Unlucky. current direction of the game. And honestly, Jabs is so good, you know. Right? Like, what he wants is. Is the same as Arslan, right? They want the game that used to be from Tekken 7. Oh, not the best time at four. Final round, second Final game, round. but Edge is up. Damn, the backdash bait there, that was sick. He uses heat now. Black Edge Kite really knee, well. Knee. Final round situation. Oi. Knee mode. Good call out. Knee mode. Gonna activate heat first here, huh? Okay, so now he's got Oh, he could have teched out of that. the heat dash. Just wants to keep the chip pressure going, I guess. Okay. There's a heat dash there. Oh, he hit the Lots wall there. Edge. Where did that wall come from? Some trouble. Knee, he oh mashed. This could God. be dead. Is this dead? I don't know. He has a lot of health. But this could be dead. I think he's alive with the pixel, right? Wow. <laughs> oh Why did he mash off the wall? No four four hit there. Two zero. <laughs> Let me look at the situation. And he doesn't have a heat engages. So his wants to keep the chip bro, he challenged down back three there. like every Lots single time. I don't know why Nee was not doing while setting four. He challenged like down back three like every time. He tried to down back three, down back three. But Edge wasn't respecting it. And then he tried to dick jab after while setting four four. Like if I I thought he tried to do up if he did up four two, he would have evaded it. Oh wow. my god. Is this dead? Looking very interesting versus Huang, I have to say. Um then Edge, Breadman versus Edge. So Breadman, Leroy. So oh, this matchup, I think Leroy versus Huarang. I think it. I think it's still in Leroy's favor. I can't think of anything that made it change to go in either direction, really and truly. I just think Leroy's a worse character now. But back one plus two, back one. But he still has the Are same shit. No, no, no. These names aren't right. It's definitely Edge on the right, and I'm assuming that's Breadman. I don't know any other Leroy. Yeah. Oi. Is it top six losers now? So who put Edge oh, into losers? Look at, pressure. look at the down forward two. Breadman. Show me how to be Horong, Breadman. Teach me the ways. Safe. Oh, that was smart, though. He just did one while sending four because he knew. That's dead. It's not Snap dead. Snap didn't kill. I jammed it down one, two, four. No go. Going to put him a back pixel down, back on plus Those frames. Afterwards. That was a skyrocket. Oh. CBM. Who is he playing? Jin. Because I know he played Jin a lot. I think he. I think he. I think he committed to Jin in this tournament. Yeah, they call them days, but they're. It's across multiple weeks, you know. So this is ATL technically like week one, and the next week will be gonna week heat two, us obviously. Here. But in each uh nice. each tournament, anyone can sign up, and then Dead. the top whatever they get points, and then whoever has the most points, they all qualify for the finals. I mean, CBM knows how to play versus Horang, so. So, there's a season structure, you can call it. I think Jin versus Horang is. I think the matchup's rough in this ridiculous. game. It's Ouch. never been fantastic for, for Horang. It would be super sick if Breadman actually makes top at Evil Japan. Wow. I think he's going to do it, bro. I don't even know if he's going Evil Japan, but I can see him doing it. I want him to do it. Just to put Leroy back in Evo Japan. Whoa, no punish. That might have been up for 3 plus 4, I think. 
You know what would be even crazier? I don't know if Book's going, but imagine if Book goes to this evil wow. Japan and wins with Leroy. <laughs> like, I assume he's only been using Jin, but that, that would be so funny. Are you Toby's cousin? Who is Toby? I think down back four for Huang is, would be even is funnier so Book good in this Wanda game. Senna. Because... Or Dragonov. Oh, that's dead. Because yeah, of what you can do now. Edge. Been doing a good job of landing those heat smashes all day. Leroy is interesting because most people say he's not. Now, Callum, I like to let people dig people their own graves. About, yeah, sidemen. Nice. I thought so. I don't see how you can say Leroy is actually bottom tier. Nice. Like, I think he's an easy solid mid. Hard ducking back to all against Quarry. Okay. What are we learning? I'm trying to be good, Speed Kicks. I'm learning how to be good right now, man. Like, I think that a lot of time we just haven't seen it. Well, Edge over like, here beating me 2 0 while he's playing Feng. You know? But Ni just mashed a lot. It was weird. I mean, Leroy sure ain't no Ling Xiao. You all say that. I mean, one more hit. Down back four. Bro, down back four is so and good sure no in this game. Down back four. Edge is crap, but Korea is also low key free to Huang at the minute. I mean, the way. Like, here's the thing. Like, obviously, it's Ni. Nee. I'm not trying to. <laughs> Pan is funny I'm not trying to say you know. Yeah, of course. Knee is this, that, and the other, but like he wasn't firm. playing well against certain Huang things. Did you say like, no joy. You know, nice counter oh, hit. Oh boy, trouble. Sidewall. Sidewall yes. though. Oh my gosh, your wall. Like oh no, he's going. He's going far. He's going far. Look at this Down four three, nice. Cheating. No like duck 14. from Breadman. Ah, duck. wow. I start every Tekken, he relearns the Huang Macho. Yeah, maybe I should make a tier list. Just so I can think myself of Leroy's actually the bottom of a Wow. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that looks, why did that look so insane? Yeah, maybe I should make a you know what is? You know what is? So I, I think Leroy, I think, Leroy. I'm going to be honest. I think exactly. Leroy kind of got cucked here. Because it looks like yeah, he was supposed to go list. over him. Because this happens so, like, so often, like against Ling, Zafina, or certain characters, like Huang will jump over, right? It looks like it was supposed to happen, but the game said, nah, bro. Oh my God. Bro said, Leroy, you ain't that guy. <laughs> that was sick. No punish. Was cheap, dude. Nice. That's, bro, this is, this is, this is, this is something I do all the time. Sick. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. This literally won me the tournament against Seth. Cheap, dude. Down back four into three. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Good counter it. It's so good. I've been... Oh, speak it. It's so good. I was going mad, Mike. It's good so damage. good. Oh, my gosh. It's Lost so shore. good. Heat burst. Now you got to deal with smash. Throw. Oh, is that dead? Yeah. Very good throw there. Did you main what I think about him? I think Steve's fine. Nice low Again, parry. After 4-4-3. But this right here, he's in top six of this tournament. Like he's doing safe. Pretty good. Oh, but you know what? That was but you know what is right here, that was that was from tournament. the first set. When they played in the first set, Edge did while sending four by itself, expecting the parry, and Breadman was waiting for the second into parry. But now he just he did while sending four four. I like good. it. I like it. They're mixing up. They're both adapting to each other. Infested. Oh, Holy I think that's a punish. Dark. He's way better than all those guys. I, I think I think this is a punish. I think this is a punish in this game. I can't like I've tried it. Did you see that rage art? I've tried it. I've tried to get out of it. I I can't remember the the very specific thing. You have to, I think it's sidestep right back one will evade rage art. Um, or you can do like a frame perfect like tap back block when you get out of the what did I miss? In a game that's built around aggression, so they took out Magic Fours and left Steve with back one. Come on, man. Lyrian Heat. Edge has Heat available, not in Rage. Heat Burst. Waiting for the third hit there. Nice whiff punish. That's not dead, though, is it? Damn, look Edge. at Redman making this Down comeback, one. though. Let's go. Down for one. Probably because he has a, a back one counter launch by itself in a game built around aggression where people want to hit buttons all day. All right. We're back to we're back to the first layer. Nice. Um, I just do back three here, but you can do up four three plus four. Yeah, keeping it simple. Nice. Knew he was uh side roll. I wonder who beat Edge. I, I missed it. I hate that move. 
No, it's like launch. so similar to Laws of War 3, but that move drives me crazier. Okay. Yeah, wow. 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 That was such a risk from Breadman though. You're minus five doing back one plus two. Like what could you even be expecting? What could you even be expecting him to do? That back one plus two in the yeah, option. Yeah, I think about it. Why isn't Lazo for a homie attack like Koran mm. says? You know? Down through four trade. Come on. Downfall is down for 16? Laws low profile and heat engager should be a homie attack like Korong's. And his counter it. 13 frame launcher should only require one hit like Steve's. Oh, yeah. That has armor on everything. I'm not asking for anything that other characters don't have. You know? <laughs> is it 16? Wait, is 16, 17 or 18? Good block. Nice. Ugh, I hate using up 4 4. Am I trolling? I don't know. Maybe King I'm trolling. King uh, Korea doesn't have much King representation. They've got Puma. They've got. Uh, I, I don't like using right Flamingo up 4 4 for screw. That. Regular throw, probably expecting another back. Oh, oh beautiful! Go away! Damn, just playing some technique. Let's go. Go away, bro! Throw break into bro. Meanwhile, Lisa has his, and it's still the fastest, right? Throw break into Rage is like Ooh, getting your throw broken into Rage is just it's that shit, yeah. man. Because yeah, people always do something after a broken throw in this game. I think more so in this game than they did in the last game. Nice. Oh my goodness. Well, you know it's. <laughs> I wanted Breadman to show me how to beat Horong, but really all I've seen is that he gets hit by the same things I get hit by, and uh, he's only winning when mm. his offense is winning, which is the same situation I have too. King's an America character. I don't even. I mean, it's a SoCal character for sure. We have like a bajillion kings out here. Oh, is Dr. this dead? Jake Man, Duke of Wu Tang, Jasand. Does this do more damage than the other combo? Like, I don't think it does. You know. Damn I'm, a, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check the, the damage. I feel like the forward two combo he showed before, the, the combo I stole from Edge, I thought like does does more damage. The down forward four, three four. I don't know. All right, so this is the bracket. Also, yeah, Edge lost two onto CBM. Game. Oh, so it was his game for Knee to get into top eight winner's side, and then Knee didn't make top eight. Who's Moel playing? Victor. He's playing Victor and like Jack, right? But even still. Shaheen or Dragonov, you, sh you should be. But look at the Leroy. cyber suit, man. Did he even change the color on it? You know, Actually, the cyber suit's like blue, isn't it? I find this matchup. Oh, I find this matchup. Uh, Speedy, so what do you think about this matchup? Like, I don't think it's that I'm bad. Like, Warren can back three that. Victor's hurt box would be pissing me but, uh, off if, there. If... For three into heat burst. Oh, no launch. It's okay. Ah! Bah! Of course it kills. I do more. Get good punishes. Yeah, that I that's one thing I think I agree on. Red we get good punishes on Victor. Leroy. But stuff like that is like I hate these fast high heat engager safe power crush high safe. Nice. Hey, Edge hates them too. Is so good. Backlash, heat burst. He's gonna go to the wall first. Yes he combo, is. Bro. Duck duck. He's yeah, dead. see you do. Oh, so I said 3 3. I think if there's anything to nerf on Victor, it's just the well, damage well, on up 1 plus 2. I don't really I don't really think there's anything else about that. That's. Edge oh, you can do that combo into yeah. EI stance. I didn't even know that. I'm stealing that. So good. Nice. Flamingo Still sidestep. Side to add more evasion. Bro. And they both heat bursted, but Edge was plus. Running two hits. He stays down, scared of another running two. And I See Beck back he, I think he tried to heat smash. Beck in this game could be crazy. Expulsion. Down to I forgot chip the damage, sheep damage. Did Beck die in the story? Is he alive? No punish. He's scared of the gun. He thought the gun was coming. Like he was in Tekken 5, right? So he's alive. One, four, four, four. Like I don't think he died Jab. in Tekken 5. Was he in Tekken 6? Three, three. Man, I can't remember. Oh, he's just ducking. Hard ducking. Down, back four. Man. Punish. Nice. I think Victor has very good heat engages. Very good. Down to back one plus two. Forward one plus two is very good. Wow, wow edge unnecessary. Mo was an interesting combo familiar. roots. Dang it. Ay, what was that? Ay, he's just stomping. Oh, he's he's just stomping on. on you. 
No one has stomp on your edge. Yeah, Moyle just ducking in his face like, what's it going to be like long term? In terms of like whether we see a huge, uh, let's say, roster of players Noish. moving through the top eight. I think Warring Sea engages on that, great. Of results. Nice with punish. Or if we're going to see the KDF boys top three every week. Oh, oh. he's going to break it. Week, yes, he is. That would be sick too. Oh, four, three plus four. Oh, he does a I jab first. Consistency. Is he going to heat or is he just going to save it? Yeah, he's going to save it. Forward, forward, three. I mean, now he does it, right? Surely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I wish back three was a tad faster. What, Huarang's back three? I think Huarang's back three at I-15. Damn. It's probably the best 15 frame anything in the game, I think. Just thinking the on the game? roster, Kelsey, right? Man, I can't remember. It might have been the thing is, I'm I'm trying to think. Are there things in this game that are... Because what annoyed me in Tekken in 7 is there were things that were minus 15, but Huarang couldn't launch because of pushback. Like Steve's full crash down forward two, right? Wow. Actually, Huarang does have rifle for down for three, though. I hate Huarang heat engage until I'm in heat, then I love them. I think down for like you. speed. What do you think about down for three plus four being like minus 11 or minus 12? Yeah, Soul Sun guy's pretty good at this whole Tekken thing. Nice. Man, he's running to all day. That'd hey, be too hey. good. See, I disagree. Personally. Good rage art, but. Way he needs here. it. Probably gonna do like what? 45, 50%? <laughs> <laughs> Not even. Maybe like 35%? I just wish he had something nice. Good block. He needs. Because the he thing is, though, like, without. No, I speak it. It's like, without heat, though. Like, so. what does it do? Like, 26 damage plus 4 force crouch. It's basically while yeah, sending 4 4. It's just while sending 4 4. Soon, right? a hot just while sending 4 4, but slower. And then I think that but slower it speed kicks. At all, Why is it slower but like, unsafe? Now that's not fair. I don't know. That's not or, fair speed like, kicks. I feel like whatever we consider to be controversial, <laughs> some potential it will be expected. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, well yeah, there's multiple odds of sentence. Oh yeah, that's expected. Oh, there are multiple dragon knots. Yeah, that, well that was expected. Nice. Uh, and he can get a combo. Victors. I guess he can get wall blast as well. See, like, oh, is he gonna use it? Two yes. In top eight. I'll pump plus two. Cool. But I, I also wouldn't be surprised by that. Down three, four. Back three. Or like Eddie wins. Ah. That could be surprising. Well, I said three enough had me crying like I lost a child. I, I personally, like, uh, the more I, I actually the more don't understand it, you know. Would be something like there are some things in this game I don't no understand that they nerfed or or other characters are still topic. thriving. Like yeah, while setting three and back like four, Japan and like US forward one plus two, four one plus two is a useless move in this game, in my opinion. That proves that Tekken is the best game of all time. I mean, I've seen <laughs> Edge use it. Forward, forward two. No way. He doesn't Bro, make this comeback. Combos. He doesn't make this comeback. Explosion? Oh, oh! Of course he would do it. See, he's not he plus there, though. Right time versus low, but of course he's going to go over the top. Every time I think about using 4 1 plus 2, I'm like, why didn't I just down 4 2? That's exactly what I think in this game. What exactly. At least if, if my down 4 2 switch, trades, I get something. Wall, if 4 1 plus 2 trades, nice, nice game. Someone like Inconsidered Raccoon, who knows how to play the game, you know, beating someone uh, who you may consider they have no business beating, like, that's not that crazy in Tekken 8. Sorry, I I wasn't paying attention to the game because I wanted to, I wanted to hear what Earl Rip is said about Raccoon, bro. The game? Bro, basically, bro called the Raccoon game. shit. Is similar in that he said Raccoon could be Anakin in this game, and that would make sense, even though he's shit. That's exactly what he said. So someone clip like that and send it to Raccoon. Raccoon, who knows how to play the game. You know, beating someone. All right, now let's pay attention to the game. Uh, forward, forward, forward. It's a down forward. Play three. The game. Interesting. You know, beating someone. Uh who you may consider they have no business beating. Like, four. like that's not that crazy in Tekken 8. Nice counter hit like, confirmed. Earlier we were joking about I'm gonna beat Ulsan with fly home on Monday. Like that could that could happen. Like this single should it happen? Itself? Probably not. Right? But is it that crazy what happens? This to me, I don't think it's that itself. crazy. This game is crazy enough. Like, oh, I hit a random heat smash and you hit the wall blast and then I took off 80%. It was sick, you know? Get better, dude. You know, like, there are like rips kind of spitting though. There are so many GG shake my hand moments in this game. Woo, step down forward two. Did that beat his jab? Woo, step down forward two. I think so. Oh, 
Honest Boss heading three. And meanwhile, you know, if, if Ulsan had just picked uh, Lars Anish? or Huarong, I would have just lost. You know? Is that going to... Over the top. I love that. Uh... And now he's dead. Damn, girl. He's dead. You think Ulsan knows about the best he smashed the game on whiff? I think that he probably plays with people who are good enough that they don't whiff it. So I think I can probably catch him off guard. <laughs> Mm. Dash blocking is so scary. And technique Punish. I my life every time I do it. Playing online doesn't help that feeling. Is he going to heat first damage, or just up back three? He's going to up back three. And he's going to put him back at the wall. Bro, how is that reasonable? Never, Duck Ben. That's dead. Unacceptable earlier. That was unacceptable. You know? Like, for what? How? Why did he get rewarded like that? I think Speed Kicks made a great point, too. Oh, Speed, speed kicks. That in the older Tekken games, like say Tekken 6, for example, when they introduced stage hazards, right, where you had wall breaks, floor breaks, balcony breaks. Um, well, I guess it weren't balcony breaks in 6, right? But just wall breaks and floor breaks. It was very situational. You had to be like, hey, if you can use this part of the stage, then you can use the stage hazard, right? Tekken 8 has gone away from that where they have a stage like this where it's like, hey, every other wall is going to be super explosive. So... You know, using your 3D fundamentals to move around a position and get in the right... I can't lie, we've been talking about Mickey Mouse. Bro, when we... Like, listen, I know I was supposed to be focusing on Edge play and hiring, bro. But, like, at the bottom the bottom floor of As You Said is Ortiz Farm. Get me out. Get me out, bro. Get me out. I hate it there. I hate it there, bro. I hate it there, bro. Mickey Mouse's clubhouse down there, bro. I hate it. I hate it. This stage as well, bro. Oh my god. This stage right here as well, bro. No, Jenny, it's one of those things that is just for the for the view experience, I think. It's one of those things that is made for the people watching the game and for the people playing. You it's like it's like watching a it's like a saw movie. It's like a saw movie, right? Like, while we are sitting here watching these people, you know, disfigure themselves and harm themselves, you know, to try and stay alive, they're doing that for our entertainment, right? That's exactly what's going on. The, this, is, this game is a Saw movie, bro. I went to my first local a few days ago after this game came out, and I was like, should we ban into the stress? <laughs> One throw into dead, bro. Doormat into right. deads. So, oh my god you know using your 3d fundamentals to move around a position and get in the right um place to use that hazard is gonna be very important whereas Tekken is like oh get a launcher maybe there'll be a stage hazard behind it you know it's, it's rip likely. is spitting bro i really i know I, I agree i hate this stage like even when i get even when i get like an 120 damage combo in this stage which i can literally do um i'm not it's i'm not satisfied <laughs> i don't feel good about myself uh it's pretty wild i might pog champ a little bit i knew he'd do the gun that time i knew he would do the gun that time we don't we're out both all right he is gone for both edge has a recoverable life personally think jab size at four hazards need to increase for you some blue rank scrub it's just uh there's so many things in this game to deal nice with nice break this is final final eight seconds left to go he got the rage art Edge gonna take the set with the clutch rage art. Well then. Man. And Moyle ran in with down back four. I don't even know that he needed down back four in that situation, but there's still a lot of time left. Well, the life bars were relatively equal. Uh, and Edge was very patient, just waited for an, for an opening. Nicely done. You know what we need to start doing? We need to start doing gentlemen's agreements on certain stages. Like, say we play on like, say like we're in tournaments. I say me and Speed gets from Tom right now. We get Arena Underground stage. We have to turn to you and say, "Listen, if we get the wall, we are not going to use the wall blast." And then we have to we have to shake hands on it. I feel like we need to start having gentlemen that agreements. Awesome. Either that or ban the stages. <laughs> like I genuinely, oh, ridiculous. I genuinely feel like we could do like stage so like bans in this game. A but more CBM like, versus it's Edge. Fast. That's why it's still super punishable. It's always been effective. I've played he CBM a few times in this matchup. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Back, dash, 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 back, dash, back, dash, whiff to toe kick. But he knows how to play against like Warren. A down he plays Warren himself. He's, he's, like he's probably been playing Warren in like, this what? game. Wow. Oh my god. So that's that's an interesting situation there. So you have Edge not really playing like running three by the, the frames punch. here, like, which has, like, again, it's worked earlier, like, against Knee. Knee was letting so much shit slide. Hey, whilst in a 4 4, 
I think CBM did a tw uh, did an instant low parry there. Like he just twitched for it, didn't get it. Down three four. Nice plus one into the forward forward three. Like he's not playing by the frames, and CBM not respecting oh him for goodness. it. Oh my goodness! I'm extremely sad and disappointed with this balance changes. I put my life in Azen. Azen had been nerfed so many times, but this time she is dead. Punish, yeah. Goes, back man. one two. That's dead. That's how it goes. Falcon break. CBM versus Edge here. Loses That's final. Dead. Edge has been ridiculous today too, man. Back one two was such I don't a good know punish. If there. anyone's talking about Horong, oh! but they should be. Screw this character. Sure, bro, man. You don't know what you're talking about. Horong Clotter. I think I have a harder time against Horong and Lars than I do with Azucena. Skill issue, Rip. Skill issue. Skill issue. Horong, Horong shit. In my most play matchup, I hate back two, back to one, two, back two, one. I can't speak. Oh, back one, two. I was saying back two, one, back, yeah, back one, two. I mean, back one, two. Oh, Good. Cool. <laughs> Demon paw. And it's cool to see CBM back on Jin. Damn, a step left electric. I don't know if this matchup got more in Jin's favor in this game, but. Oh, caught duck hey. in there. Jim plays through so many big moves in neutral. You got to run the down four, three, four, and you got to get back one, two, punish sometimes. Yeah, you just have to hold nice. it nice with punish. Yeah, you just have to hold it. Three, two, Man, yeah. Watching everyone here tonight, it's making me want to go work on my back dash cancel. Because there's been so many instances today in this tournament where people have just been at range zero, double back dash with punish. Wow, look at the range on Zen 4. Nice. That's a side walk. Nice punish. Beautiful. And the make boom. it a sp Oh, I just realized. Board, speaking right, of right. Mickey Mouse, bro. Speaking of Mickey Mouse. I think we're going to do we a are. stick modding stream whenever I turn on my stream again. Maybe Here we are. Week. Nice. Oh. Holy moly, the tracking that was wild. He, he was a deer in headlights there. He sidewalked two Damn hits girl. there. <gasps> Double just frame skyrocket and a drop combo. Nice. That happens all the time, man. It's when you try and switch stance backlash too fast. Nice. Nice. Counter and hit. Counter. Edge. He's dead. Wall boom. Doesn't even need it. Oh, Mickey okay. Mouse. It. You know what? I think I think just you need to, to just sure. you need to just start like that doing that in this game, up. bro. You actually need to start doing that in this game. Does anyone bro. in Korea use hitbox? Funny enough, you. Jun and Asuka's Kankan uh, Kan kicks yeah, are safe few. on block while Jin's is but unsafe like, and can be launched spots? punished and Just is minus 12. Oh, no, uh, not mixed box. Well, that's because Jin's Snack launch is on normal hit and is I-15. Mid. But technically, rank 2 is in Japan. Galgongi uses one. And then four. Oh, we didn't see him today. Ah, right? the county! He risked it, bro. I should be dead. Three. <gasps> Edge, no. Wow, he tried. Edge, no. Four. Yo, Rage Art, what are you doing? Edge, no. What are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> that was dead. Wing. Did he die there, right? Four, two, four, three. I thought, I thought three was four. You know, he thought the four, three was dead, you know. He thought the four, three was dead, and he took his hand off the stick. He thought the fourth three was dead wow, and he took his hand off the stick. Four, four. Yo, Rage Art, what are you doing? Ah. Uh, what are you doing? Oh my god. He thought the fourth three killed and took his hand off the stick. Oh I've done the exact same god. thing. Oh my god, how did he end? You need to always finish your combos, man. I don't I don't care. I feel like the sentence in is subconscious. Oh my god, the stages in this game. Hierarchy. Ulsan is over CBM, right? So if we see CBM beat Edge, then I feel like we just see Ulsan win again. But I don't know how Edge does. I kind of want to see that matchup. I want to see the Edge versus Ulsan matchup. You think you know me? Is that where his name what comes from? Because his name he used to be, yes, be around for you know his name used to be Muse, right? That's how I knew him when I first got into Second Seven. He was like the number one horror I was watching. Um, him and this other shit guy from America. Hmm. Um, but yeah. Like that was he was like the number one guy I was watching when I first went to second, right? His name used to be Muse. Nice. What do you commit. call it when Jin um But what do you even do there? Puts his hands up, Tekken 3 intro style. Why is Speakix laughing? Does that they have a name? Pitching <laughs> straight. Oh my god. Interesting combo. combo routes. Really interesting combo routes. Holy crap, routine. it wasn't even done. It's called focus? Oh ask floor break. Floor break? It's called I can't touch this. 
Oh, so that's how you flip them over there. That should be dead as well. I feel like it's got to be called demon something. Is it going to slice through three? Yeah. Devil something. <laughs> okay. So that's how you flip them over. Forward two into forward, forward, four. Forward, four, four. Omen? That sounds like it makes way more sense. <laughs> Just broke it. Is it if it's actually omen stance? That's pretty good, because then you can say it's like OS. Nice. Ah, oh, he didn't believe. He didn't looking for an OS. He's not respecting four four three at all, and that's something Edge was getting away with against a lot of the people, Ni especially. Like yeah, he Mac could do too. forward. Good choice. He could do forward forward three into down three four into down four three. Uh, CBM is not respecting forward forward three this at third all. Third floor looks so sick. Yeah, I like which, this. Uh, which I think as a Hawaiian like player, you actually have to too. make people respect your forward forward three. You know. Because because of the pushback, like jabs don't know that, but are going to be really good at keeping firing out from there. So, unless they're back as well. I say usually because I don't think it's actually always the case. <sighs> I mean, look at that. He needs a heat engage here. You just see the red outline. Is he going to heat smash? Yeah. Oh, forward, forward, two. Man, CBM taking control. Oof. Up 2-0. Man. I mean, I think the difference we're seeing here, like between these other games and this a, game, a like I know for a fact CBM knows how to play this matchup so and you're seeing it here, CBM to knows how to play against Warwick. I think also he one, knows how to play against Edge. That's how we do them. We don't do them weekly. We wait a little. Is it something to talk about? Nice. Not respecting Offensive electric. Offensive seems to be deciding factor in these early tournaments. One, two, three. I mean, just in general, right? You like, need to be side like right now they're playing Tekken. Why could you punish while setting three? That's fine. But now it's not Tekken 7 anymore. Well, just nothing after the heat engage. Down now you're basically forward. playing uh, with them having rage and heat drive available. You're like, okay, I'm scared. Except now he's got rage and heat, heat drive smash. available. So oh, that's gonna be dead. Drive. You know what I meant? Rage drive. That speak is mentioned earlier, man. Back one, so it two. So starts off as like a normal Tekken match. So good. Except there are also on top of that it's there so are good. really powerful attacks. It's so like, for good. For example, something like a demon pop from Jen was always a good move. It was just a knockdown before. Now it's a heat engager. He gets life back off it. It does chip damage, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, rip spitting with that as well. Ah. Like, oh, that was a punish, right? So now a punish puts him in the state now where you got to deal with his rage drive. You want to think about it? Look, I'm sorry. Hold look up. at this, bro. How does one even proceed to. All right. So that's Zen 3 plus 4 is plus. All right. Like, oh, that was a. Into, into thingy 3, crouch dash 3. Punish. Into electric. Right, so now a punish into in omen state now. into the old electric the omen yeah, electric into electric You'll into heat smash like oh my goodness Seven. what is this gate into yeah, another z3 plus so four again that? okay there you go edge believed he finally believed but i need to see how much chip damage did that take off because uh rip said earlier that people forget people call it chip damage but it kind of is real damage like, oh, that was a punish. all right so, right, chip. so now a punish puts him in the chip. state now we gotta chip. deal with his rage chip you want to think about chip, it that chip, way chip. Tech and seven sets, chip. Right? Look at that. That's a lot from blocking, bro. Like, don't get me wrong. I think Hwaran can do similar, right? It's not, it's not that I'm not saying Jin. I mean, this is kind of, this is Jin specific right now. Like, Hwaran can obviously do the same when he blenders. But like, this is, this is the game. This is the game. This is the game. Time to play the game. This is the game. And look at this chip he just did there. That's crazy. This is Tekken 8. Now he's making up the chip health. So he lost. Like, now, let's if say he lands a heat engager, chip, though. And he got it back a little bit, and then he just lost it again. That's minus 10. I don't think he's going to. Like, CBM's not going to give him the chance, bro. He's not going to give him the chance. Zen 4 plus frames. 2 1. Down forward 1 4. No duck. Back 2. Down 3 4. That's it. Nice patience there. Good block. Wow. Should have power crushed, little bro. Pick as you will, Victor. Chip is honestly starting to annoy you more and more in this game. I put, a, I put out a video after that, I think, the second beta where I said Chip has to go. Mm. You know? CBM is just running and over him. Now. I think it's just knowledge of Edge and knowledge and of Warren. Like, he needs to get his back away. Anymore. And so what do we gain from that? You know, we gain a, oh, try to land your heat engager as the mechanic so you get your health back. Oh, you've read that so well. CBM wow. 3-0 over Edge. Solid defense. Man, he, his defense is super good. It's, it's something I've mentioned multiple times about CBM today, but... Wow, that was something, man. Also, I picked Reyna. Wow. But I agree with... I I think chip damage, personally, I think it should go as well. Because how many times have we seen this situation in tournament? Like, we're going off topic now. I wanted to just focus on Edge.